Hi, I'm Leah Michelle. And I'm Ramin Karamloo. And we are talking to Playbill about our show, Funny Girl. To walk into a production and to be offered this role at this time in my career is a thrill. I haven't been on Broadway since Pippin. And then we had the pandemic. And in the interim, I played Dr. Ruth Westheimer and the great Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And actually, on my off days, I'm doing a television series, which are you doing a television series too? Yeah. So we're both doing television <laughs> series when we're not working at Funny Girl. So we'd like to thank management for that blessing. It was a thrill, but it's Broadway. You have to know what you're doing and you have to know what you're doing quickly. It means the world. This is such a dream come true for me. I love the show so much, but I love this production so much from the minute I saw it back in March. And to now be on the stage and to be playing this role every night is incredible. And to work with this amazing cast, I feel really, really honored. Well, you know, I've had embarrassment of riches working with some great fannies along the way, but now I'm watching what Leah has brought to the, to the show and to the role and to our scenes. I was remember watching it last night, especially after music makes me dance. I've never seen anything like it. And uh, the reaction from the audience, it's just, um, I'm very grateful and I'm having a blast. Because I didn't really grow up with Funny Girl and, uh, and now, now I'm living it. And it's, it's been great. You know? I mean, it's, it's a blessing. Um, you know, I get to show up to work and learn from legends, dance alongside legends, sing alongside legends, and do amazing scenes with legends such as Toba. So, you know, I think I've spoken to you guys <laughs> many times throughout the run of this show. And, um, you know, I'm just still in a, a dream state you know, getting to show up and make people laugh and smile and cry and just be filled with joy. And, you know, my role as Eddie Ryan is not, hasn't changed since day one, which is to be a best friend to not only the audience, but to everybody on stage um, that anybody, you know, and to anybody that opens their hearts to us. So, you know, I, my main mission is to open up my heart to everybody and allow everybody the good and the bad um the ups and the downs um all the things that make us human you know I, I love to be accepting of that and to actually give um to people who are willing to open their hearts to that the, the whole company is pretty much a love machine they're extremely kind and at this stage of my life being kind and being generous and gracious is easily as important as being a great artist i'm just i'm just the luckiest girl on the block everybody's been very welcoming and and we're selling out. I mean, we're selling out, Jared. I, I definitely think that I had a version of her in my mind that I always thought would be how I would play it. But I'm coming into this role now as a mother and a wife. I'm 36 years old and have a plenty, you know, bags full of life experiences to draw from that are really making this um, just a lot different than I thought it would have been before. But I'm really loving everything that I can bring to this story right now. I think that the great thing about what we do is that every night you'll kind of find something new to love or to play with or to enjoy. I, I love our Act 2 song that we get to do every night. I think it's going to be so great to sort of see what each each performance brings, what the audience connects to. Also as an actor, what you're feeling in your, in your personal life that you then bring into the show. That's why I love what we do. But Leah's brought this playfulness to her and I don't want to ever pick out specific moments you know as actors you you end up pondering on it and you ruin the moment but she's very feisty but the more feisty she gets it's super cute and um, I sort I of I might be making this up but I feel like I can hear when you're laughing as you and not when you're laughing <laughs> as Nick well, and it makes me really happy when I hear a little bit of a laugh that I know is is you on stage what I love is I remember Michael Mara said especially not one because I'm as Nick enjoying what Fanny's doing along with the audience. We're all seeing it and living it together and riding that wave. So he goes, if if it tickles you, don't you don't have to stifle it. I said, okay. And already had to stop the show like twice. <laughs> well that's if I keep breaking things. <laughs> She's so much fun, I'm telling you. It's 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 a it's a hell of an experience. Well first of all for everybody who's an ARP like I am, I hope they experience it if I can tap dance and kick my leg up to my shoulder that they too can do what they need to do. We hope to engender in any any actor who wants to transform. If Jared Grimes wants to play Eddie Ryan, that was originally played by a white Irish Catholic uh, actors, 
and I want to play Rosie Bryce, which frankly was a part I was born to pay, but it was given given to other other people. Um, uh, then we have to engender the hope in the audience that they too can transform. It, it, Funny Girl for me is like the most incredible package as far as a Broadway musical is concerned. It has an amazing story, a love story. It has this uh, amazing arc and journey for, for this woman, the songs, the set. For me, it's everything. And so if you really want to see an extraordinary classic Broadway musical, then come and see our show. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. You know, for three hours, it sounds daunting, because I know you think three hours, but the energy from the audience right to the last moment is, I'm like, I know. you would think it lasts an hour and a half. It's phenomenal. But there's also a great inspiring story with the Fanny Bryce, yeah. with what she accomplished and who she was at that time. So I think much. whoever, whoever you are in this modern world and however you identify in this modern world, there's so much you can take from that as inspiration. I know I do personally, and I just think, what a great story.